my name is Andy Spicer. I'm a coach at CrossFit Treetown, and I've been there going on three years now. Good. That's okay. One is good. Just do one. Do one every time. Come on, Nick. Up and out. Yeah, there you go. Just gonna keep you moving. I know you're exhausted, and that's good. We're just gonna keep moving while you're exhausted. Yeah. Oh, your triceps are feeling good now. <laughs> Four more. There you go, three more, good. All right, two more, two more. Take like a 10 second break, we'll get these last two. One more, one more. Ah. Uh, uh. um, so when I'm not working and I'm not coaching, I like to spend time with the family, um, um, with my kids and with my wife uh, for the past, gosh, 10, now really probably 15 years, our summers have been taken up by, um, by coaching our kids, either coaching our kids or, or taking our kids to volleyball and soccer and baseball tournaments and basketball tournaments all over the state and all over the area. So this is the first year we've had the chance to actually not be spending our entire summer on the road. Um, we recently moved out to the lake, um, bought a boat and we live on a small lake, but we have a, a bigger lake across the street where we like to, to go out on the weekends, go boating. You know, I think I've always been, um, I've always been interested in coaching. From, um, I was a swim coach when I was 18, 19, a lifeguard and then a swim coach. And then when I became a parent, um, I coached my kids in soccer and baseball, um, in various things. And then um, when Jess introduced me to CrossFit and I enjoyed performing in CrossFit, I realized, wow, this is right up my alley. This is something that I really like to not only do, but I like to motivate people. And I like, um, I really like to help people determine um, how good they can be. Um, and I think a lot of people have a tendency of holding back, not really, not really pushing the bar to see how, how they can perform. Um, and I like to see people achieve goals. I really, it makes me feel good to see them feel good about achieving something that they didn't think was possible. Whether it's getting a pull up or getting a push up or a muscle up or um, a certain weight on a lift. Um, I just get joy out of seeing people accomplish goals. I would say my biggest strengths as a coach, uh, probably motivational. Um, I really like to um, get involved with everybody in the class especially the people who are a little hesitant to really go all out. So I really like to um, stay with them, try to mo motivate them to go a little bit faster, um, a little bit harder, maybe um, uh, harder than they're used to going. I think people hold back a little bit, so I always like to see how, how strong they can be or how fast they can go. I, I definitely like to work with people who um, aren't afraid to see you know, what their potential is. Um, and, um, you know, when I see good athletes come in and they really want to work hard and they really want to, want to, want to give a full effort, um, sometimes you do have to rein them back. And, um, I like to do that because, uh, people like that, um, really want to get better. Uh, but sometimes you got to take your time because CrossFit is the type of thing where, um, it can be really hard. It can be very difficult and you don't want to give them a bad taste the first time out. So um, I always, I, I do like to sometimes rein people back, especially um, good athletes who maybe are a little bit out of shape, who haven't um, done anything athletic in a little while, rein them back a little bit so they don't get too sore or too tired so that the next time they come in, uh, they, can, they can go after it again. The most important part of my life is my family, my, my wife and my kids. Um, you know, I think um, if, if you have a strong home life, um, everything else kind of falls into place. I think um, in my life, the biggest adversity or the biggest challenge has been um, raising kids, raising um, three kids, um, and the challenges that that has, um, has presented. Um, being, you know, for a little while a single dad, and then um, Jess came into our lives in, in 2007, and she's, um, been um, a mother to these kids for the last 10 years 
um, and raising these kids in kind of a non-traditional um, family and to see how these kids have turned out is very rewarding. Um, just seeing how, how they are as people. It's hard to see when they're young, when they're 12, 13, 14, but when they're 18, 19, 22 years old, you see how they really are as adults. And it's not an immediate payoff when you're doing it. <laughs> She's shaking her head. It's not an immediate payoff. It's, it's a delayed payoff, but eventually it's like, you kind of shake your head and you're like, okay, yeah, we did it. We did it right. And now you can breathe a little bit and say, okay, those decisions we made were very hard at the time, but um, well worth it.